Finally, the Prisma app is available for the Android users and it's still in the beta phase and you need to sign up to get the download link. But don't worry, I'll be providing you the links to download the app in the description of this video and you can easily sideload the app on your Android to get started. Well, the app is pretty much like Instagram when it comes to style and navigation and you can select photos from gallery or snap one instantly to get started but there are a few tips that you should keep in mind to get the most out of the Prisma app. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look at all of them. Now the very first tip would be to not use the Prisma's built-in camera. Well, yes, Prisma's built-in camera lacks, lacks HDR mode, night mode, white balance correction, and the manual mode. All you can do with the Prisma's built-in camera is just turn on or off the flash. So if you really want to create a work of art, you need solid base photos to start with, and the only way you can get it is through your stock camera app. There are so many features available in your camera that you can turn on while taking photos and use them in the Prisma app. You can apply HDR mode, some filters to get started with a good photo. If your camera has an option to take square photos, don't forget to turn that on. As Prisma only accepts square photos that are in the ratio of 1 is to 1, you will know what frame you will get after processing. The second tip would be to use the nominal intensities on these frames. After a filter is applied on Prisma, it's applied in an 100% intensity. But it's not always necessary that the maximum intensity is going to be the best. You can swipe left or right on those photos to increase or decrease the in intensity of the filters and sometimes just a little bit of these effects is enough to make a photo look good. The tip number three would be to remove the watermark. Now by default, the app applies a watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the artwork it creates which is good for the app developers to gain name when you share the photos on Facebook. However, the watermark is way too big according to my opinion and if you are planning to take a printout of the photos, it might not come out good. While you are on the screen to select photos in the Prisma app, tap on the setting icon and here you will find the option to remove the watermark. The option is not monetized and you won't be charged a penny to make the changes. The tip number 4 would be to auto save all the creations. Sometimes you want to save and share a photo in more than one filter and saving all the creation automatically will come to rescue in such scenarios. The option is located under the settings and will automatically save all the effects you apply in the Prisma app to your gallery. The photos will be saved to the Prisma folder in the phone as soon as this filter is applied successfully and you can tap on more than one filter simultaneously to finish them one after the other in the background. All the filters will be applied in the background and will be saved in the internal memory. This also helps me to decide easily which filter looks good on a photo by just swiping easily through the process photos because when you do it on the Prisma, it just takes time to switch from one filter to another. Spice up your selfies with the Muscard and other such apps would be the final tip. Now needless to say, most of the users will use the Prisma app to post selfies. While the normal pout face photos might never go out of fashion, you can also add some special effects to these selfies by using third-party selfie apps like Muscard to spice up your normal selfies. You can also use apps like Layout to create Prisma photos with different frames and make your photos stand out from the rest. There are a lot of apps available on the Play Store suited for the task and a simple search will lead you to a plethora of them. So friends, those were some of the tips to get the most out of your photos using the Prisma app on Android. Now it's just been a few hours since I've started playing with the app and I apply all these filters on a trial and error basis. However, till now I've concluded that almost all the photos look good in the curtain, mobio and the color skypes. So what do you think about the Prisma app, which is the best filter according to you? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button right now. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.